When tears roll down our cheeks, sometimes we want to stop them. But we don't know the value of these tears. But a person whose eyes are unable to provide adequate moisture understands the value of tears. This happens in dry eye disease or syndrome, where the quality and quantity of tears is compromised. As the name suggests, a person with dry eye does not produce sufficient tears to lubricate and nourish the eye. Lack of tears in providing moisture can cause soreness and itch among other symptoms in patients with dry eye. Tears are made up of more than just water. They are a complex mixture of water, fatty oils, proteins, electrolytes, bacteria fighting substances and growth factors that regulate various cell processes. In a healthy eye, the tear film lubricates the eyes adequately and a sufficient quantity of tears are produced. The tears that lubricate the eye have an important everyday function. A film of tears spread over the eye by a blink makes the surface of the eye smooth and optically clear. Without the tear film, good vision would not be possible. The tear film covering the eye also functions to retard evaporation of tear, provide moisture and coat the surface of the eye and protect the eye against dust and foreign particles. When there is an imbalance in this system of production of tears, a person may experience dry eyes. Dry eyes result from decreased tear production or excessive tear evaporation or an abnormality in the production of mucus or lipids normally found in the tear layer. Some of the reasons for dry eye syndrome are environmental factors like pollution, computer or TV viewing, intrinsic deficiency in production of tears, LASIK and other refractive surgeries, use of contact lens, autoimmune diseases, aging, use of certain medications and vitamin A deficiency. So, how will you know if you have the dry eye syndrome? The symptoms of dry eye are dry, gritty or scratchy or filmy feeling in the eyes, burning or itching in the eyes, redness of the eyes, blurred vision, a sensation of having a foreign body in the eyes. These symptoms are often exacerbated in smoky or dry environments by indoor heating or by excessive reading or computer use. The symptoms of dry eye can vary greatly among individuals and usually fluctuate throughout the day. They usually become worse later in the day. Dry eye can be a progressive disease that if left untreated can lead to increased risk of infection or visual impairment. So who is at risk for dry eye syndrome? You may not produce enough tears if you are older than 50 because tear production tends to diminish as you grow older. Tear production may reduce if you are a postmenopausal woman. This may be due in part to hormonal changes. You may not produce enough tears if you have a medical condition that reduces your tear production. Dry eyes are also associated with some medical conditions such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, scleroderma, Sjogren's syndrome, thyroid disorders and vitamin A deficiency. You may also not produce enough tears if you are using ophthalmic medications with preservatives or certain systemic medications. 
have nutritional deficiency of vitamin A and omega-3 fatty acids, have had laser eye surgery. However, symptoms of dry eyes related to these procedures are usually temporary. Have tear gland damage. Damage to the tear glands from inflammation or radiation can hamper tear production. Eyelid problems can also cause dry eye. If you have an eyelid problem that makes it difficult to blink, tears may not be spread across your eye adequately or your tears may evaporate too quickly, causing dry eyes. Once you have been diagnosed with dry eye, your doctor may prescribe eye drops with artificial tears. The general treatment approach of dry eye syndrome includes avoiding exacerbating factors, tear stimulation and supplementation, increasing tear retention and eyelid cleansing, and treatment of eye inflammation. For mild and moderate cases, supplemental lubrication is the most important part of treatment. Application of artificial tears every few hours can provide temporary relief. Lubricating tear ointments can be used during the day, but they generally are used at bedtime due to poor vision after application. Other measures that can be followed to minimize the effects of dry eye are purposely blinking, especially during computer use, and resting tired eyes. Wear glasses or direct gaze downward, for example, by lowering computer screens to protect the eyes. Cold compressors help itchy eyes due to allergies. Warm compressors work best for dry eye symptoms of burning and sand gravel sensations. Avoid dry, smoky and dusty environments. Avoid hair dryers, heaters, air conditioners or fans, especially when these devices are directed towards the eye. And since prevention is better than cure, remember to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water daily. Wash the eyes with clean, cold running water 4 to 6 times a day. Use proper eyewear while driving bikes, especially in summer. Maintain necessary hygiene if you use contact lenses. Sleep is important for maintaining eye comfort, so don't neglect sleep. Please consult your doctor to know more about how to treat and manage dry eye.